good afternoon and welcome back to our channel it's been a few a few weeks since we've posted stuff been a bit been a bit busy but yeah motorhome seasons uh when truly on the way come out to the come out to the motorhome today um and the battery's uh the battery's a bit flat so i'm going to show you a couple of things that we do um first of all obviously just out to generally just jump start um just jump start the motorhome um, and then I'll show you the uh, trickle charger that we also use um, just to keep the the battery topped up if you look there obviously where the air filter is there's a battery cap there just lift that up if you can see obviously that's your uh, your positive turn terminal so obviously it's where the positive the red lead has to go to and then on the front you see it on there that's where the uh, where the negative side has to go Obviously, really important you get it really important you get it the right way round otherwise you're gonna end up in all sorts of trouble but what I tend to do is um, just put it on put it into um, jump start mode leave it for a couple of seconds probably for about a minute just to give it that little bit of extra charge and then um, then see how we see how we get on Yep, so there we have it. I've turned it on. Red lead to the positive. Black lead, obviously the negative, to the uh, obviously it goes to the chassis. Let's see if we can start. So here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, fired up straight away. So what I'll show you now, obviously I'm gonna put the uh, litre trickle charge on overnight just to get the battery up to its full optimum storage. And um, I'll show you what we do with that. We use the um, the Ring trickle charger. This is just a smart charger that you can plug in um, and it will just you know, keep the battery topped up and obviously adjust itself to put the right charge in. So. Um, I'll show you how we do. We normally just keep it on for a couple of days just to get the battery up to its um, to its optimum storage, um, and I'll show you um, how we connect it. You can either connect it direct to a mains. Um, we normally just connect it to our EcoFlow box, but yeah, I'll show you where it is. Obviously, the battery is located on the Peugeot Boxer chassis. Um, it's underneath that mat uh, where the main battery is kept. So. Um, Get up the cur oh, the curtains. They're not the curtains, are they? I'll get up the carpet and then um, show you how we connect it. Really simple, but yeah, really, really effective tool. And there we have That's the uh, the battery. Obviously, you've got the uh, positive and negative side. So um, I'll show you. We'll connect, we'll connect up the the ring trickle charger. I'm actually going to plug the the power supply into the EcoFlow. Up first, and then again. You 
So even there you've got the, the different charging modes, obviously car and van. If you press it again, you get the um, six volt for the for, for motorcycles. And as you can see, it's actually it's actually charging now. And the beauty of these is obviously they 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 just regulate um, and will put the you know, required voltage into the into the battery, um, and then just trickle charge it through. So it's perfectly safe, perfectly safe to leave it. So just to tell you a little bit about the uh, the Ring 4 Amp Smart Charger, um, I've just bought it off of Amazon, um, used it a few times and found it really brilliant. Um, obviously you can charge lead, gel, calcium, AGM and EFB batteries, both for motorcycles and cars. Um, output voltage is 6 volt to 12 volt DC. Um, voltage input is of 220 to 240 volt AC. Uh, charging rate up to 4 amps. Um, yeah, really good, really good product. I mean, it was, was only relatively cheap. Um, connect and be sure automatically adjust to long term maintenance mode when battery is full. Uh, large LCD display screen clearly shows voltage and charging progress. Uh, cold weather charging mode protects battery in cold temperatures. One button operation for ease of use. So you, as long as you put the uh, plus and minuses around the right way, you ain't got a problem. Um, backlit display so you can see it in low light, quick connections with clamps or O-ring terminals for long-term connection. So yeah, I highly recommend it really. It's I've just got one of the travel seats out of the uh, out of the garage, and look what a bloody mouse has done. 